Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and today we're going to be doing some Minecraft mechanics. We're going to take a look at Iron Golem Farms and Spawn Chunks, and basically what we want to do is see if Iron Golem Farms will continue to produce iron inside of the Spawn Chunks in your world, even when you are not present. Uh, and basically outside of the loaded chunks um, near the spawn area and uh, hope to prove uh, whether or not that's iron's going to be producing. So to get started, what I did was I needed to find the spawn area and so I got a little bit of help from the brilliant uh, Cabo PC. He wrote an awesome mod, uh, Spawn Chunks mod, uh, that basically just highlights the spawn chunks in the world. And that's what you're looking at here, this big blue box. So what I did is I installed the mod, I turned that on just to get a look, and then I basically went around and you can see a iron border that I made. And I wanted to do that just to make sure I knew exactly where the world uh, spawn area was. So, uh, really cool of Cabo. Uh, for making that mod, definitely suggest you check out his channel. It's Cabo PC. I will post a link to his channel in the description. He's one of the members of uh, JL2579 server crew, and uh, they do awesome work over there, so I suggest you give those guys a look. So now that I got the spawn region all figured out, the next step was to get an iron golem farm. So what I did, and I'll admit, I was a little too lazy to build my own. I went out and took a look around and tried to find one of the best iron golem farms I could find. And a YouTuber by the name of 101, uh, he built a what he calls a golem hyper spawner. And uh, what he did was he figured out how to basically combine multiple villages into... Uh, single cells and also did a stacking technique that was discovered by another youtuber named Tango Tech. So uh, both of those youtubers I will post their channel links in the description and uh, 101 thank you so much he actually posted his iron golem farm for download which I um, well, stole from him. <laughs> uh, I basically borrowed it uh, with pride. So that's what you're looking at here and I want to flip on another mod done by Cabo PC that's just going to kind of show you. I'm not going to get too much into how this Iron Golem farm works. Definitely suggest you go check out 101's uh, video on that and also Tango Techs uh, that explains how you can build one of these hyper spawners yourself. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip on Cabo PC's mod and that way we can see. Uh, that this is in fact multiple villages. So give me one sec, I'll turn that on. Alright, so I'm back and as you can see we have some very colorful bubbles in front of us. Um, this is Cabo PC's villager, uh, village marker mod. Um, really, really cool. Nice work Cabo. And what this is showing us is basically each color is representing a different village. And what uh, 101 did was, we'll take a peek inside, you can see all these lines in each one of these cells he's actually got multiple villages hooked up. So not only do you have the multiple villages, but you have multiple villages hooked up inside each cell. So it turns it into a, a very, very productive iron golem farm. So I simply borrowed that uh, because I wanted a very active golem farm to help uh, prove or uh, disprove, we'll find out, uh, whether or not iron's going to be created while we are not even around this area. You know, this is uh, the spawn chunks. And, and there was one other thing to mention real quick. With doing these uh, village merging techniques, or I shouldn't say merging, but trying to stack them like this and get them close together, there was an issue where if it, you, the chunks were unloaded at any point in time, these could potentially uh, merge together and you would lose, uh, you would basically lose your villages, uh, or at least the ability to have multiple villages like this. And so the solution that the guys came up with 
was to put it in your spawn chunks. And great solution because the spawn chunks, they will always stay loaded. And with Cabo's spawn chunk mod, you can now see exactly where your spawn chunk is. So um, it kind of goes hand in hand. It's perfect. Okay, so let's get back to the experiment. Now let's go down and let's see if we got some iron. As you can see, there is plenty of iron in here. As I was uh, walking through all the details of, of the uh, setup of the experiment, these were collecting. And so let's just let's grab them real quick, see what we got. So you can see I got over two stacks of iron. So this obviously is a very active iron golem farm. Pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and, and use this iron. <laughs> Here comes more. I'm going to use this iron to help prove the experiment. So the idea is spawn chunks are always loaded. So if I was to throw an item on the ground inside this border, since th this area is going to be loaded and processing, uh, no matter where I go, the chunks are going to be loaded, those items should disappear in five minutes outside of the spawn area, so inside of this emerald um, area I, I created just to kind of give me a visual reference. Um, we're going to throw down some items here and then we're going to attempt to go far enough out that way that these actually get unloaded. And so any items I throw down in here when I come back after five minutes should still be here. And what this is going to help prove is that if there is um, some iron after five minutes and we could say that there should be a, a decent amount of iron that the iron golem farm was basically producing iron that entire time if we come back and there's there's no iron or just a few bars because we're gonna we're gonna go I'm gonna go out for a, a while and let let this thing build up if it if it's running and if we come back and there's not very much then we know that the iron farm does not produce if you're not here. So let's go ahead and get the experiment started. So let me show you how this works. I basically have a command block that's going to teleport us over... I'm going to grab the sign. <laughs> I can't help it. It's going to teleport us over 200 blocks away from this area. So you can see that uh, my coordinates are now uh, x525, y4, z, negative 413. And this one's going to send us right back. And now you can see the coordinates are x5, two, two, uh, y4 and z, uh, negative 611. So the z coordinate has about almost 200 blocks uh, difference, which means that we are going far enough that this chunk that I'm actually standing in, uh, as well as this, this anything inside this uh, emerald border here, should get unloaded. So in order to prove that, what I'm going to do is throw down I'm just going to throw down a stream of, of iron, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to use my command blocks yet. I'm just going to make a stream all the way out, and that way we can prove uh, which chunks are loaded and which ones are not. And of course it's raining. Turn that off here in a second. Okay, so you can see I've gone far enough. Okay, and get rid of the rain. And now all I'm going to do is stand here until these uh, ingots disappear. So I won't make you th sit through that. I will cut away, and I'll be right back with you as soon as they disappear. Okay, it's been five minutes. The ingots on the ground in front of me just disappeared. And so what we're going to do is make our way back. I'm just going to fly back, and we'll see about how far we need to go before... Uh, we we'll, should start seeing some ingots again for the chunks that were unloaded. There they were. So we know that starting here, um, all these chunks right here in front of me were unloaded that entire time I was waiting. And we'll pick all these up. And with Lenny Luck, see, inside of this emerald area, you see that they're sitting in here. And then the ones I threw inside the iron, uh, they are gone because they're inside the spawn chunks. And those were loaded the whole time. So let me clear these out. Then we can pick up the iron. Let's we'll just see, for instance, we got uh, almost a stack, 49 iron ingots there. 
So that does seem like it's running that whole time. Um, but it, it's not conclusive yet. So what I want to do is now we'll run a little more controlled experiment where basically I'm going to collect all the iron. I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to get transported over 200 or just about 200 blocks away. And we know for a fact now that this chunk I'm standing in will be unloaded. And inside of there will stay loaded. And that's with the golem farm. And if we wait, and, and I'll let it go for a little longer this time, maybe 10 minutes or so. And if we come back and, and we have, you know, I'd say more than a stack, then I say it's a safe assumption that the Iron Golem farm actually does produce um, even when you are not within the area. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll pick up the iron here. I'm going to quickly transport myself away i clear these out just so they don't get confused. And I'm going to just stand here for about 10 minutes. I won't make you sit through it again. I will cut away and we'll be back and we'll see how many we get. All right, it's been just over 10 minutes. So let's hit the button and see what we got. All right, yeah, you can see it flooding in already. And it does look like quite a bit. Let's pick it up. And as you can see, I have almost two stacks. So that tells me, since we were about 200 blocks away, and that's far enough away that this chunk anyway was unloaded, so we know that we were nowhere close to loading these uh, spawn chunks or being part of the spawn chunk action ourselves, uh, that iron golem farms will in fact continue to run while you're not even around, as long as you build it in your spawn chunks. So now you have... Uh, a good reason to do so. So I suggest doing that in your world. If you're building an iron golem farm, I'd locate your spawn chunks. And if you are in single player and you don't mind using some mods, uh, grab Cobble PC's spawn chunk mod, and that way you can see where your border is. So this experiment was held on a single player world. I also did the same exact tests on a multiplayer world. And here's what I found. When performing the same test that you just saw and traveling over 200 blocks away, it had the same exact result. So the iron farms will continue to produce. Um, however, there are some caveats to, to a multiplayer world. I went to the nether instead of just traveling 200 blocks away. And so um, I was on the server by myself. And when I came back from the nether, the iron farm had not produced, uh, which tells me that in order for an iron farm to continue to produce, there must be at least one player somewhere in the same world as the iron golem farm. And I also ran another test where I actually logged out of the server for, uh, I'd say, a good 30 minutes. So at that point, there was, there was nobody in the server for a full 30 minutes, although the server did stay running uh, and was active. Uh, time was passing day-night. Um, but when I did come back into the server, there was no iron, or at least very little um, iron at the end of the stream. And that tells me that if nobody is in the server, it will not produce. So if you're building this on a multiplayer server, and you build it inside your spawn chunks, the only time it's going to actually create iron is if somebody's somewhere in the overworld. So what we were able to prove with this experiment is that if you do build your iron golem farm, inside your spawn chunks that it will continue to produce no matter where you are in your world and it will also help if you're using the stack technique to make sure that your villages don't merge together so it's a good idea to do so and also we learned that in a multiplayer server somebody at least one player needs to be present on in the overworld in order for it to continue to produce if they are in the end or the nether or nobody's connected at all to the server it will not produce iron so i hope you uh, enjoyed doing this experiment and, and learning some of the mechanics behind minecraft and trying to uh, understand and and get the truth about how iron farms work inside of spawn chunks um, it was definitely a fun experiment to run. It's something that I had 
uh, been curious, rather curious about for a while. And I'm glad that I was able to finally get to the bottom of it. So if you enjoyed my video, uh, please remember to give me a like, uh, give me some comments on it, and subscribe to my channel. i got other videos in there as well that you might find to your liking, and I'd appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.